Now let us discuss about construct 3 by 8 decoder using two 2 by 4 decoders. So this is the first 2 by 4 decoder and this is the second 2 by 4 decoder. We know that 2 by 4 decoder accept two inputs and it produces totally four outputs. So the inputs to the 2 by 4 decoder are B and C. Uh, B and C is supplied as input to the second 2 by 4 decoder also and we know that uh, we require enable input. So for enable input we are using A here. If A is here the complement of A is passed as enable input to the first 2 by 4 decoder. So here this E stands for enable input. Okay. So the complement of A is passed as enable input to the first 2 by 4 decoder and the second 2 by 4 decoder accept enable input from A. So the value of A is passed as enable input to the second 2 by 4 decoder. The first 2 by 4 decoder produces 4 outputs from D0 to D3. Second 2 by 4 decoder produces 4 outputs from D4 to D7. Okay. Let let A is 0, A is 0, that means enable input is 0, then what will happen is, uh, here what is A value 0, so the complement of 0 is 1, so 1 will be passed as input to the E, whereas here A value is 0, so 0 will be passed as input to the second 2 by 4 decoder, so if the enable input is 0, then the second 2 by 4 decoder won't works, okay, here what is the complement of A? 0 complement is 1. So now enable input is 1. So the first 2 2 by 4 decoder will works now. Okay. So let us see the 3 by 8 decoder uh, truth table. We know about uh, 3 by 8 decoder. It accepts 3 inputs and produces 4 outputs. If the inputs are 0 0 0, output is D0. If the inputs are 0 0 1, then D1. Likewise, it produces 8 outputs from D0 to D7. So here BC. So, what are BC? So, BC means possible combinations. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Whereas here, what is A value? 0. So, for the first 4 combinations, A value is 0. For the next 4 combinations, A value is 1. Okay. So, let BC is 0, 0 and enable input is 0. If BC is 0, 0, then what will happen? The first 2 by 4 decoder produces the first output the first output line will be activated. So D0 will be produced as the output. Suppose if the input is 0, 1, then the second output line is activated, D1. Suppose if the inputs are 1, 0, then the third output line, D2 is activated. Suppose if the combination is 1, 1, then what will happen? Fourth output line, that is D3 will be produced as the output. So now let us assume that A is 1. So if A is 1, then what will happen? The complement of 1 will be passed as the enable input to the first 2 by 4 decoder. What is the complement of 1? 0. So here enable input is 0. So the first 2 by 4 decoder won't work. Here A value is 1. So that 1 will be passed as enable input. So now, now E value is 1. So the second 2 by 4 decoder will work. So for the next 4 combinations, here A value is 1. A value is 1. Next, if the inputs are 0, 0. Then the first output line that is D4 is active. If the inputs are 0, 1, then the second output line that is D5 is active. If the inputs are 1, 0, then the third output line D6 is active. If the inputs are 1, 1, then the fourth output line that is D7 is active. So with this we can conclude that this diagram is correct only. Why? Because uh, these, these two decoders producing 3 by 8 decoder output. Three, this is nothing but tooth table for the 3 by 8 decoder. So this tooth table, so this output is producing by the these two decoders. So we can say that our diagram is correct only. So this is about designing of 3 by 8 decoder with the help of two 2 by 4 decoders.